Okay, so I have been asked to do a video on um, how to blur a background. And um, I guess the easiest way to do this is to use a tool called the Field Blur. And I've got two different images here that we're going to uh, look at. And the first one is just your typical snapshot that was taken at a, uh, a Christmas party. And, um, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on here. We got this extra person in the background. We've got all these cabinets and lighting. And it really detracts from the main person because we want this lady here with her beautiful little angel. And uh, so let's try to get rid of as much of this other stuff as we can by blurring it out. Now, the first thing I need to do, I'm just going to throw this layer away because I've already been in here playing around with it. And uh, I want to show you, the first thing you need to do is that's going to come in as a background layer. And if you will just do Command J or um, I think it might be Control J on a um, Windows machine, it will create a new layer for you. And uh, then we're just going to turn off the background layer. And that way you have a good copy to use in case anything, you know, in case you mess up the first one. All right, so then we're going to go up to Filter, and we're going to go down to Blur Gallery, and over to Fill Blur. Now, you notice when I bring this in, the first thing it does is it drops a pin. These little round things are called pins, and when you hover over it, you can see why well, it's called a pin. It looks like a little push pin. Now, we control this the same way as you control the volume on uh, a radio or anything. Counterclockwise, if you click and hold your mouse button and drag it, counterclockwise it turns up the volume drag it counterclockwise I'm sorry I, I misspoke that if I drag it clockwise it turns it up counterclockwise turns it down okay so uh, there's other ways of doing this if you don't want to hold the mouse and click you can also just use the blur slider up here it does the same thing or you can put your cursor inside here and type in what you want. Um, and you can just type like 23. You don't have to type the PX for pixels. Or you can put your cursor in there and then just use the up and down arrows, arrows on your keyboard and it will take those numbers up and down. Okay? Uh, so several different ways to do the same thing, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up, and we're going to blur out a bunch of this stuff. Okay, let's just blur it out really good here. All right, but now the problem is, is we can't see the lady or her angel. So I'm going to move this pin up here out of the way, and then I'm going to drop another pin. And notice when I just, my, my pin is already always ready to be dropped, okay? So if I... Um, Anywhere I go, as soon as I click, that will drop a pin. Now, I can click right in the center and drag that pin where I want it to be. And I want it to be like right up here between her eyes because I want her eyes to really be in focus, okay? So I'm going to turn that blur down, all the way down. And I'm going to do the same thing on the angel. I'm going to drop a pin there, and I'm going to turn the blur down, okay? But now, as you see, it's brought in all this back, is, is back again. It's still blurry up here where this one pin is. So now what you have to do is you have to kind of go around blurring it. And make that blurry, whoa, 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 pretty blurry. I, I don't want, I don't really want you to be able to tell that that's a person there, okay? So maybe somewhere around in there. That's really blurry there. I'm going to have to drop one here. And we're going to turn that up as well. Blow it out too much. Get one here. Turn it up a little bit. Blur those cabinets out. I need one right in here too. Turn that up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Back down a little bit. You don't want to get into her too much. Alright, so everything looks pretty good except I want these to be a little bit more so I just drop another pin and turn the blur down on it 
It's just like kind of like an eraser tool, if you will. It just erases part of it when you put another one down. Okay, and maybe a little bit of her shoulder here. Just a little bit there of her shoulder. And let's go back over here and blur this. So you can see when it's really noisy like this, you have a lot of pins to work with. All right. Um, we might also put like one right here to just kind of unblur her hand and then I'll put another one here to blur this bottom. Blow it out of purport or out of sight there. Okay. All right. So not the best, but it does have everything blurred. You can't, you know, like you can kind of still tell she's in the kitchen. You could blur... You know, you could go up and blur these cabinets some more. You could really just blur a whole lot of this out. And then just go back and, and bring in her face and the angel. Now, if you want to see um, what this actually looked like before, then you can just uncheck right up here beside Field Blur. And that will give you a preview. Of course, you see all the pins there. If you'll just uh, hit the letter H on your keyboard, it'll take those away temporarily. And... Um, you have to hold it down <laughs> and so there you know you can see what it looked like before and turn the field blur back on and then that's after so you can see that it really does help um, this this picture here was really busy uh, so there was a lot to blur out there but you know it did get rid of the lady's face and the cabinets and the grid to the ceiling and all that so it did help and you may even want to go in and, you know, put maybe another pin like right here to uh, bring bring out her scarf a little bit, maybe her hair a little bit more or something like that. Um, I'm still not real happy with the arm here. I'd like to do a little bit more there. But that gives you a general idea of how to do that. Now let's look at, uh, oh, when I got done with that, I would just go up here and click OK. And then you can also, you know, just do preview too there's that option but uh, click OK and that applies it da, 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 da. and there you go all right now um, the other image you see well, there's one that we could play around with um, or there's one here I actually got this offline so um, this image here is a really good one to show you um, how effective this could be, you know, if you were doing professional photography and you wanted to blur out the background. So I've already made my extra layer there. I'm just going to go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Field Blur, and it comes in, you know, at automatically as 15 pixels blurred. Um, so I just want to move this up out of the way, maybe more toward the center of her head there. And we're going to drop a pin here. And we're going to drop a pin there. And I want to dial those down to zero. Well, zero. And I want to dial this one down to zero. And really bring out those eyes. Okay. All right. Now I'm using my H to take that away. And now you can, you know, you see that that's really softened up the background a lot. Um, you might want to drop another one here to give a little softness to the shoulder and to that background there. And, um, and yeah, I think that kind of does that right there. And then we'll do, we can do the preview. That's what it looked like before, and that's what it looks like now. It just gives a nice softness. And again, if you wanted to move that pin on up a little bit, um, well, let's see. Actually, I could put one here and dial down the blurness, blurriness. There we go on the hair. And I'll hit H and we'll look at the preview and see how that, that just kind of puts a vignette around uh, the lady here and just gives her a nice soft blur all the way around. But that's the way that, you know, you could use that in post-production. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks.